shock! Get off the fucking stage! Dumbass! Fuck you, Machine Gun Kelly! What the hell? It's a struggle! The following it's contest is scheduled for one fight. Right off the bat, I don't Make think anyone's happy to see Machine Gun Kelly tonight. Houston, Texas. Like and the entire audience is just booing him. They they absolutely hate his guts. Everyone got like freaking poisonous when he smashed his guitar. I think it had something to do with the fact that it's a genuine Gibson guitar that was gifted to him by his grandfather, and uh, it's the only one in existence. And he just completely just smashed it. Apparently, uh, Machine Gun Kelly is the uh, super supervisor for the soundtrack of this game. I don't know why. I don't think he knows anything about music. When he tried doing rapping, he got killed instantly by Eminem, which made him want to do rock music. I would, I would call him a rock star, but he's not a star. He's not even a falling star, because he was never a star to begin with. And Machine Gun Kelly's opponent tonight is Supremo's motorcycle riding gun loving edgelord clone, Red Ant. What the fuck is he talking about? Is he saying is he saying something important or is he just mumbling to himself? Is he on drugs? I think he's on drugs. I think drugs have something to do with this. I did see him inject heroin into his dickhole before this match, so I'm pretty sure that, that, that that's a um, uh, factor to whatever's going on right now. You know what I'm talking about? I'm dropping the plates. And that's the bell, and immediately the match starts with Machine Gun Kelly just just completely kicking the shit out of Red Ant. He's already on the top ropes and doing his butt smash move that I didn't know was iconic to him. I, I didn't even know that Machine Gun Kelly knew how to wrestle. He doesn't know how to do much, but it seems that Red Ant's uh, getting back in the game. He's doing his knee technique where he knees his head, causing major brain damage to his opponent. He's known to often cause brain damage through either by killing his opponents in the ring or by just giving them drugs that cause brain damage. Already he goes for the pin. That's crazy. I can and of course he's going to kick out because it's still early into the game, but immediately we're going to see Red Ant continue to kick the shit out of Machine Gun Kelly. He's already going for a submission hold. I don't know if Machine Gun Kelly's going to kick out or not. Oh, and he does. In fact, I think he does reversal. Oh, yeah, he does. Oh, but Red Ant's back in the game. He's going to throw Machine Gun Kelly out of the ring. He does his famous taunt. You want some? That's what he's saying. I guess we're taking this battle out of the ring. The announcers, who aren't actually the announcers, don't really know what the heck to, to make of the situation. But it seems that Red Ant's really holding himself in a fight. I don't know why he's trying to break Machine Gun Kelly's arms. You gotta remember, this is a wrestling match, not a, not a killing match. Ooh, slammed straight into the blue stairs. Back into the ring. What the heck? Is, is he dead? Did he kill Machine Gun Kelly? I think he's going to check. Yeah, he, he's barely living. But, but Machine Gun Kelly makes a recovery. Turns out he is alive. He just, he, he overdosed on breathing and then just passed away while he was in the match. And he came back to life. And now he's just sitting down. What the heck, this is- Stop you're supposed to be fighting Red Ant, not just sitting- OH! That came out of nowhere! It really goes to show, you have to be alert when you're outside the ring because Machine Gun Kelly will just straight up kill you for no reason. It seems like the, the announcers aren't really even- They don't really care, they're not even looking at 
the wrestlers who are right beside them. They don't fear for their safety at all. There's okay, they're getting out of their chair, and th and then they're just standing there. There's re there's really no point. I mean, Red Ant's having the pummeling of his life. What? The what the heck? What is going on? Are these like ghost announcers or something? Really explains why they have absolutely no presence whatsoever in this match. And yeah, it looks like a little bit of payback from Machine Gun Kelly as he literally just slammed Red Ant back into the steel chair. I mean the stairs. He comes back out of the ring, I guess, to restart the timer. And to give Red Ant even more of a pummeling, but he's got the reversal and and Yeah! Yeah, it looks like a bit of payback from Red Ant, but he trips up at the last second and Machine Gun Kelly's back on his pummeling streak. I don't know, I think Red Ant's got it pretty bad out there. He's getting just punched in the face repeatedly by Machine Gun Kelly. And, yep, that's, mm hmm he's gonna have to get, like, face stitches or something. What a dumbass. Just tripped over. Yeah, Machine Gun Kelly, you're really getting that crowd riled up. They're all, they're all excited to see you kill Red Ant, the beloved character. I feel like Red Ant's face can't take any more damage. Because if it does, it's going to turn into a red mess, a red bloody pulp. I mean, it's going to blend in with his skin color. But it's not going to look pleasant. But then again, he doesn't, he doesn't ever look pleasant. He's just always an ugly guy. So is Machine Gun Kelly. But I guess I shouldn't be commenting on their personal, their physical appearance. Uh, I should be commenting on their fighting abilities, which, holy shit. Machine Gun Kelly is just going absolutely buck wild out there. I think he's going to go back in the back in the ring because he thinks that Red Ant in the state he's in is not going to get back in. But but it seems like he is. Last second, he makes it back in the ring and whoa! Suplex! Suplex from Red Ant. What is, another one? Are we going to see a third one? A third at three suplexes in a row! Holy shit, I don't think I've ever seen something like that. Red Ant is going crazy despite the pummeling. Two! Oh, and just last second, Machine Gun Kelly kicks out. I'm surprised. I mean, I'm not really, but Machine Gun Kelly's been winning this whole match, but Red Ant's making one of the biggest comebacks I've seen in my entire life. More like my pune come, Kelly. Why is he shouting? Why is he shouting that at the at the audience? That's so rude. He could get canceled on Twitter. Off the top rope, major brain damage. Could could this be the end of Machine Gun Kelly's wrestling career? Two, three. I cannot believe it. Even after all of that shit outside the ring, Red Ant, he comes out victorious. It's crazy. That is a completely unexpected outcome. Oh yeah, I won the match and I'm dropping these plates. Oh yeah. What the hell is he talking about? Why does he keep talking about dropping plates? There's not been a single plate dropped in this entire match. Is it like a metaphor for something? What is wrong with this guy?